Well, it's road trip time. I uh, packed up, it's Monday morning. Well, almost Monday afternoon now. And I just, I've crossed from Tennessee into Georgia, now into Alabama. I'm heading south and my final destination is going to be around North Florida. Um, I've already crossed over a few creeks. I've only been driving like an hour and a half and I've already crossed over a few places I've already wanted to stop and explore. But I'm gonna try to get further south. I'm gonna fish for a few days. I got a couple people I've already scheduled to meet up with. And then I also got a couple days that I can, that I got open where I can just do exploring and just do whatever I feel like doing. And that's, that's some of the fun, most fun things I like to do is just, just kind of come across something random and fish it. So we might do some saltwater fishing, hopefully maybe some pond fishing, find some creeks, stuff like that. Definitely just plan to have fun and just fish some different areas. And uh, I got some friends I'm meeting up with too to do some stuff. So hopefully it's gonna be a good time, but this is the start of it. I don't know what I'm fishing today. I'm probably gonna fish something, find somewhere to stop here in a little while, but we'll see what happens. Finally have my first stop, which is about halfway through. So I'm driving about three, just over three hours, which is like halfway to where I'm going. But uh, I think it's time to start exploring. We'll grab something to eat and start looking for a little place to fish. Well, this place actually looks pretty cool, but it's super muddy. Um, I'm just kind of driving over places back and forth and just kind of looking as I'm going. And um, this one here is, is definitely different, interesting. It's real wide gravel. It's like a gravel, sandy, rocky area. Good mixture. But yeah, the water looks like it's mud. I think it rained a lot here recently. So I don't know. I'm, I don't really want to waste my time trying to fish in a real muddy area. Uh, but um, pretty pretty interesting to, to find. And it looks like people come down here. They got like a little uh, trail or uh, road going down to it and everything. So definitely interesting find, but let's move on for something else. Well, I just stumbled across another little stream. Just looked over. It looks really small, but um, the water looked clear. So let's go look inside. a little bluegill or something swimming around right there oh there's a few of them okay it's like a little ditch like an old where uh oh what is that there's something else down there it's another kind of fish oh yeah there's there's definitely a few little fish in here um so yeah i think this is worth trying out um you know i gotta get some fish i just gotta catch something and uh ooh, it's hot out here um, we're gonna get the ultra light out and catch a few fish hopefully we'll start out with just a little uh little crappie lure on um one thirty seconds down shake head i think it's a little bobby garland and hopefully catch a couple fish out of here real quick uh, there's a bunch of pan fish in there but they're all skittish they can see me easy there's one Oh, green sunfish, okay. There's a lot of sunfish swimming around. I think they're all smaller, like, uh, I just have smaller mouths. I, they look like long ear. I don't know if there's long ear in this area or not, but fish number one is a green sunfish. We might have to downsize to get these guys. They, they bite, they bite. <laughs> Getting a couple of them. Oh, there's one. Oh, another green sunfish. So far, only the green sunfish have been the one that are attacking. I see other stuff out there, but they're they're just being pickier. I don't know why. Yeah, he got back in there. Yeah, there's one. What is it? It is a long ear. Okay, that's cool. I didn't. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be long ear in this area. That is awesome. Pretty fish right there. Now long ear, you know, they have, they have smaller mouths. So they, um, I mean, they're sometimes they're real aggressive and they'll hit at bigger things. But if you want to catch them, sometimes you gotta just use a smaller lure. Two green sunfish and a long ear in Alabama. Oh, there's one more. Yes. Let's see what this is. Bluegill. All right. <laughs> That's what I like. It's so cool just to come, uh, come to a little ditch on the side of the road and already three species of fish caught. Three species of sunfish. But they're living pretty good in there. 
Oh yeah. Dude, they're hitting this thing so much easier than that. Just a little bit bigger lure. What is this? Another long ear? Yes, another long ear sunfish. Pretty guy right there. Yeah. Let's go see what's on the other side of the yeah, we're gonna see what's on the other side of the ditch, if we can get to it. it looks like it's grown up pretty good. Oh, it looks a lot deeper over here. Oh yeah. There's a lot more water right there. Let's try to drop it in. Yeah, oh, I had some bites right away. Had some bites. Let me get over here where I can get one up. Oh, what is that? I got it. No, oh, what was that? I think it was a bass. It's a pretty good size. Not like a big, but like a decent little bass. I think it was a bass, largemouth. Oh man, they're hammering it. Got one. There's something. Oh, green sunfish, of course. I saw a couple like fish that were like eight or nine inches long. I think they were largemouth. They looked really dark. And then I had some other stuff hit at it too. There was a lot of stuff. A lot of action going on. Oh, what is that? Man. Another green sunfish. The green sunfish definitely are not letting up. Oh yeah, I do hit it as soon as I hit the water. That's the kind of tax I want. And what is it? Uh, I think it's a green sunfish, just really dark colored. Well, let's go. I've only been out here for 23 minutes. 23 minutes of camera time. I just got my, my six foot loose ultralight combo, four pound uh, mono. And this is my little small creek fishing setup. And, and this right here is a perfect little creek for it. This kind of place though, this, this creek's a lot deeper than I thought. There could be a, there could be some nice bass in there easily. All right, let's try a little, uh, I think it's a two and a half inch swim bait. Might get a big sunfish too. Love to see a bass though. That'd be really cool to get one out of there. Oh, that's a bigger sunfish. Come on, fish. There's something. Yeah! What is that? Oh, it's a crappie. Oh, sweet. I would never have thought there'd really be a crappie in this ditch like this. A little crappie on the swim bait. <laughs> that's awesome. Just a little guy, a uh, black crappie there. Yeah, I saw that one hit it. What is it? Oh, it's just a bigger green sunfish. There's a lot of green sunfish in there. That is not an underestimate. Oh, oh, what'd we get? What'd we get? Is that our bass? Yes, yes, yes. There's a bass. All right, come on. Come on up here. Oh my, look at this bass. Not that it's a giant, but look at this. Hold on. Look at the shape of this thing. I guarantee you there's like a three pound bass like living in here somewhere. But look at the, look at the body of that guy. Like, I think he's just really healthy. Like, he's just eating good. I bet you there's like no telling how many this size, and there's, there's, I bet there's a giant, and there's got to be, you know, no telling what else in there is there catfish or any, I don't know what other species are down this, you know, at this point. That's a cool bass. 
Well, it says private property going on down this any further. So I'm gonna go back up from through where I can and uh, we'll throw the swim bait a little bit more. I think we'll get something else. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, we threw it out. That was a little bass. It was taking off with it. There's some. Oh, it's another crappie, I think. Yes, another crappie. They hit so much softer. Like when they hit, like, yeah, they just kind of grab it and get pull a little bit. That's really cool. All right, let's, let's check out this little area for a while. This, I think it's close to where I caught that first crappie. I can't, oh, oh, come on, come on. Something nibbled on it. I'm getting a lot of sunfish kind of grab at it too. There's another one. What is that? Oh, oh it's a green sunfish. He was fighting a little harder. Oh wow, something hit it right when it hit the water. Probably another green sunfish right on that bank. Yep. <laughs> They're just like right on the bank. <sighs> Don't tell me another green sunfish. Oh, dude, there's a bass down there. I'm gonna see if he hits a green sunfish. I'm pretty sure I saw a decent little bass. right when I caught this green sunfish. Are you kidding me, these green sunfish? I just get tired of catching them. Well, when I'm, I'm not get tired of catching them, but when I see bass and I know there's bass and crappie in there, but the green sunfish are just so aggressive that they, and they're everywhere. Whew, it's hot out here. Let's drop it off the bridge. A couple more drops and I'm done. I found this here just for what you're doing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boy, I see the pretty good size uh, bass on that side. Oh yeah? Yeah, you go right down here. You, you know. Oh, we got something. Is he gonna stay hooked? Oh, it's another green sunfish. That guy, he was, he just, I think he works back there. And he was telling me that uh, there's a, there's a, he sees a bunch of bass in here and he just picked him up a little fishing pole to go for him too. That was a pretty neat. Oh, got one. <laughs> that dude hammered it. What is it? Oh, it's a big long ear. He just hooked him underneath it. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> All right, that's probably gonna be my last guy there. Man, what a cool little spot. Man, isn't it interesting what you can catch in, let's see here, 58 minutes, just stopping on the side of the road, driving through Alabama. I guess I'm middle Alabama. I'm gonna look up and see what this uh, creek flows into, and I'll, if I find out any information, I'll put that in the description. But due to that little stream, this little ditch right here is loaded with fish. And that's the kind of place I love to come across. That um, would be a cool place to stop and just bass fish. It's too hot though. <laughs> I need to keep on moving so I can meet up with my friend to fish tomorrow. So, um, but uh, thanks for watching. I love these kind of little fishing trips. And uh, that's why I like to get people encouraged, encourage people to get out there and just try a little spot i stopped and look at this spot over here on this side didn't even know that the other side was twice as big and just had a lot more fish so one thing can lead to another thing can lead to having a great time thanks for watching